Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and I do DAS 3D videos to help you to get the most out of your own DAS 3D renders. Uh, once again, I'm just going to be doing a little quick video today, just throwing a little quick tip out there to help make your life a little bit easier in your own renders and to speed up the entire process of doing the great images that you do. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at mixing and matching poses. Uh, we all go out, we get a, a pose set from the DAS store, bunch of poses that we like we double click on one we get a pose it's great but then we look at it and we say well i, I wish the model's arm was in this position or i wish oh that pose there i wish i wish a leg was positioned in the way that that one is uh now some peers and some creators when they do a pose set the, the they include a whole load of more files there where you can set the left arm separately and the right arm separate and the left leg and the right foot and that's great but it's not really needed uh because there is a quick way to actually do it yourself uh, just mixing and matching poses no extra files needed no messing about it can just be done really quick with a click of your fingers and in this video i'm going to show you how to do it uh, now as you can see we have our model here in the scene she's all booted and suited dressed for the weather in a little black skimpy ensemble uh, but she's just in the basic bog standard a pose that we start off with so what we're going to do we're going to come up and we're just going to select our model up here let's close all that down for now uh, select the model that I've got a pose set, set lined up here which I'm going to give a click on uh, and I'm going to just scroll down to a pose that I like the look of uh, and that we're going to put her into so that's the one I'm going to give her a double click and she ends up in the pose that we want her to be if we have a quick look through the camera in front of her we can see that she's there I'm not too keen on her head looking down at so we'll just click her head lift her head up a little bit why not just so she's looking roughly in the camera and as usual with the, a lot of pose sets, they don't always necessarily fit every single model. So her arm or her hand is just intersecting with the body down there. So we'll give that a little click and we'll just move it out just that little bit, just so that she's not chopping herself in half. Now, if we take a look at that in NVIDIA iRay Preview, and everything is perfectly fine, nice little pose, looking at the camera, all nice and dandy, great stuff. Well, as I'm sat there looking at the uh, the poses over here, I kind of want to do a little bit of things with her arm. I don't mind the way that she stood, the way she got her hips, all that stuff. I don't mind all of that. But I'm just looking at here over the, these things here, what we can do with her arm. Uh, like, look at this one here, for instance. Uh, her arm, this left arm, instead of it being up in front of a chin, how about if it was up over her head, like uh, it is on this particular pose here? So how can we do that? Uh, well, there's a number of ways we can do it. If I just bring this down to back into texture mode, uh, we could come out and we could start playing around uh, with all the sliders. We could do all this type of stuff and maybe try and get our arm up. I can't remember how we do it. We'd go collar with that. Uh, we'd play around, you know, and we'd try and get the position as to where we want it to be. Uh, or if I come back, just undo back to where i want to be and i think i've gone too far there you know we could come up to the active pause tool which is up here and we could just drag things around uh, maybe put a few pins in there to hold things in place but using these methods we won't necessarily get exactly what we want and it could take 10 15 20 minutes of us messing about to get us what we want uh, so wouldn't it be great if we could just take that pause and that arm position uh, that's in place and just have it exactly as it is in that pose as if we'd applied that pose to her but keeping the rest of the body and the rest of the pose in the shape and the way that it is well we can do that quite easily quite quickly and the way that we do it is because it's the left arm that I want to move up to a head we come up and we'd select left collar because that's the top of the hierarchy of the arm that we'd be moving and then we come across to the pose and what we do is we hold and this is on the pc you'll have to know your equivalent on the mac so fortunately i don't know what it is but uh, you'd have to hold the control on your pc and double click the pose make sure you got the left collar selected double click on the pose and this pose preset pro, preset load options dialog box will come up uh I think this is the default settings i'm not sure now but nodes being the one that's selected the left collar recursive which means it'll go down the bones uh, and then we sell it to obey the limits and we're only transforming on the x y and the z axis okay and then we get accept and our arm goes up 
from that pose into that position. Now it's not perfect because that arm position isn't designed for the pose that she's currently in. So we might have to do a little bit of play around with it. We'll take a forearm and we'll just bring a forearm up a little bit like that. Her hand's a bit, uh, a bit gimp there, but don't worry. We'll just straighten that out a little bit. Uh, and, but we've immediately just dropped that arm into the position that we want. But what if we want to put our other arm in that position, the right arm up on her head as well? Well, again, this time we come across to right collar. Make sure that's selected. Come across to that pose, control and double click. The pose preset load comes up. We hit accept. And the right arm goes up there as well, as it now applies part of that. Again, it's not perfect because, uh, you know, this, that arm position isn't designed for the, the overall of this pose. But we're just a little messing about. We can more or less get it as we want. You know, what we could also do if we just come out to the perspective view, if we wanted. Uh, let's have a look. We can come down here. Let's say this crazy leg position with a leg out. Because it's the leg, we'd come up to pelvis. It's the right leg. So right thigh bend, left click, double click on the, sorry, control and double click on the pose set. There's our settings. Hit accept. And she sticks a leg out. So there we go. Min maxing or mixing and matching poses uh from all various different sets without any messing about without any extra files in there that are being provided helpfully by the creators just click on the root of the bone and the body that you want to create control and then double click the pose on that body on that particular pose what you want to use that arm position of or the leg position of and it'll just do it for you. No messing about. Mix and match your poses and create your own little unique poses for yourself. Uh, you might have to play around with them because, you know, each arm position isn't necessarily designed for every overall pose. But it quickly gets you what you want to do and you end up doing something different. I hope that's helped you out. I hope it's a little tip that you can use and it can help speed things up and make things a little bit more efficient. Uh, if so, give it a like down below if you like the video, share it about, do all the usual sub stuff that you do. Subscribe if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you do that. Uh, join my channel as a member if that's what you want to do, that would really appreciate me. Or give me a little thanks down below to help boost the channel up a little bit. And again, any questions or comments that you might have on this video or any other video or any other topic, or you just want a little chat about Daz or anything in truth, Drop it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. I hope I've helped you out and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.